I'm John Zeisel, and uh, for the last 15 years, I've been developing a new way of thinking about and managing people living with dementia, people living with Alzheimer's. The normal way that people talk about dementia is as if it's only a memory issue. And as if you say, long-term memory exists, short-term memory doesn't exist. That's not the way it works. The way it works is there's lots going on in the brain. This part of the brain has difficulty dealing with complex issues. This part of the brain has difficulty dealing with language. This part of the brain or inside of the brain has to deal with controlling your emotions. But the key to communicating with people with dementia is in here, it's called the amygdala. And it's the part of our brain that responds to and, 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 and emits emotions. Those emotions give us the ability and those, those, those parts of the brain that deal with emotion give us the ability to really connect with the person with Alzheimer's and dementia. And that's the whole point of life, to connect to each other in a way that makes us feel good makes us have a relationship, and makes us feel better altogether. Our approach is focus on the person. Look at what they can do. Everybody can do something. So here we have reading clubs that some people lead and read to the rest of the group. Others are part of the group and read sections. We have a gardening club. Gardens work for people with dementia because of, first it touches their emotions. The joy of being outside, the joy of plants starting to grow, flowers starting to come out. The second reason is because that's, a garden is often a place where people get together. We have programs where young children come in. We have programs where you can paint outside. Most important, though, is the fact that there's something in the brain called the chiasmatic nuclei. And the chiasmatic nuclei is, a, is an organ in the, in the brain that keeps time. It's called circadian rhythms. That gets damaged. But when we go outside in the sunlight and the seasons, as the seasons change, it keeps our brain aligned to time. And so as a result, the reason gardens really work is they help our brains function better and give us memories and give us experiences and give people with dementia those same abilities. In the garden, just physically, there's a pathway that's very easy to follow. There's a clear beginning, it's a circle, there's a clear end. Everything we do is to give them back access to time, to the story, their own story, the stories of other people as well, where there is a beginning, a middle, and an end, and where it's not all glommed together into a point. And gardens are one of the best ways to achieve that. My name is Michelle Boyardi, and I am the program director here at Hearthstone and Marlboro. Right now what we're doing is watercolor painting using the flowers that they arranged this morning as inspiration. So we are in the process of collaborating with a third grade classroom in Newton on various media artwork. All of it is going to be exhibited at the decor of a museum in um, Lincoln. We use that garden in so many ways as part of our programming day. We get outside for the fresh air and sunshine because uh, it helps regulate mood and sleep cycle, but also we plant and uh, use the things that we've planted, say tomatoes and herbs and things like that, for our cooking groups so that they're utilizing it in their daily meals. We do creative writing out there using the flowers and nature as prompts, so we've, we've utilized that space in so many ways, and it's just a peaceful place to be, to just kind of regroup and reflect, and they love it. They love having that space available to them.